I hope everybody's having a great uh, Blue Devil Day uh, across uh, the command. This is a second uh, town hall of the monthly variety that we've done. Uh, we'll have another one in July. We'll probably do that one uh, in the evening uh, with the idea that we're going to move these around to accommodate more people participating uh, at various, various times. Uh, Transformation is always with us, uh, as we know uh, just from tran transitioning to Army 365, and it impacts the way that we do business, and in this case, it's probably impacted how many people are on the call today, uh, and, it, and it's impacted me on how I interact with the call. Uh, so while I'm being recorded, uh, you, so you can see me talk, uh, if you want to bring this up uh, online afterwards, you'll be able to see me talk. But otherwise, uh, you get the better version of me uh, not having to look at me while this goes on. So what I thought I would do just to tee up the subject of transformation and then really turn it over to everyone just to ask questions is, is to go over a couple of things uh, regarding uh, guidance uh, that has been put out. So the first first thing is, is I just, I thought I would just go over the priorities of General Daniels uh, as the Chief of the Army Reserve and Commanding General of the U United States Army Reserve Command. So as, as she says, her priorities are in line with the Chief of Staff of the Army's priorities. So that means people uh, are at the top of the list, followed by readiness, then modernization, and then she adds, she adds to, uh, and they are partnerships, uh, and she talks about that and says, we cannot succeed in our mission without the support of our great families and civilian em employers. Uh, and then uh, she says, I intend to embrace reform uh, by empowering junior leaders with the authorities and permissions they need to successfully lead and train their soldiers and removing unnecessary administrative steps and pointless requirements that stifle progress. Those are her priorities. In, uh, in the terms of reference that I sent out uh, to the command group uh, back in late January, I, I articulated there my priorities are people, readiness, and transformation. And there I said, complete headquarters transformation to G staff structure and set conditions to provide innovative solutions to achieve and sustain best in class human resources, service and support infrastructure and logistics operations. Uh, so we've already done one of those things. So we've converted to a G staff. Uh, it still has uh, fits and starts. Uh, some folks still like to refer to G4 as as DOL, and they like to refer to uh, G1 uh, as DHR. I suspect uh, by this time next year, uh, those terms will be things of the past, and we'll be referring to the G1 or the G357 uh, or the or the G8 or whomever. Uh, we do still have one directorate, though, the Directorate of Public Works. Uh, so we're a G staff plus, in essence. Uh, we're, we're very, very close, and I know the staff is providing feedback to the Chief of Staff right now on, uh, on making a final decision on how split stationing will work. Uh, we are going to be split stationed, and so in essence, that part of it is is decided. It's just a question of who's going to who, who will be setting where. When in that, I don't think there's anything that's real earth shattering about it. Uh, from any con any kind of context, it's just uh, there will be something in writing that says this is how we're pursuing that. Uh, and then finally, just last week. Uh, I got the out brief from the National Security Innovation Network uh, on the uh, on the Ensign Boot Camp uh, that completed. And I was presented with five different team solutions to some some issues that we address. One in the retirement 
uh, services area. Uh, and then the other four all in how do we respond uh, to requests for support from our partners, something I learned last time around to refer to partners. Uh, but so, so we've started that process of, of actually creating a, an, a, an environment where we look for new solutions to problems that may have been around for some time. Uh, I thought the solutions I got back were, were fantastic. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on piecing together some of those to be able to deliver services better. Uh, and the final piece on that is this idea of of you know you you get minimum viable uh, uh, solutions, minimum viable processes, minimal minimum viable products. Uh, in the hands of those that you want to use them, you get feedback from them. Uh, I think that's kind of important to us as we deliver these, these innovative solutions to remain best in class at what we're doing. Uh, and so to me, transformation uh, is just that. It's, it's getting better uh, each and every day at how we deliver services and then it has the added uh, benefit actually of in a resource constrained environment, which we're likely to face over the next uh, three to five years. Uh, in that environment, it, it helps us to, to, to be able to continue providing best in class services, just recognizing we may have to do it in a slightly different way uh, than we're currently doing it. Uh, and so with that, I will, uh, I will seek questions. Uh, and I think uh, you can either come off mute and ask your question or you can type it into the text box uh, and myself and Mr. McNeese who's sitting here will uh, we'll respond back to you.